Apple's iPhone 7 and iPhone 7 Plus each come in two different variants. So the iPhone 7 comes in an Intel modem version and a Qualcomm version modem. And likewise, the iPhone 7 Plus comes in an Intel modem and a Qualcomm modem version. Now, the Qualcomm modem support CDMA networks and therefore the Qualcomm iPhone 7 and iPhone 7 Plus are sold in markets and networks which have CDMA networks. Meanwhile, the Intel iPhone 7 and iPhone 7 Plus are sold in the rest of the world really that uses GSM networks. These two phones are fundamentally very similar in performance wise as you would expect. However, on the Intel version of the iPhone 7 and iPhone 7 Plus, the cellular field test menus didn't work. They didn't produce any data, whereas the Qualcomm ones did. And this is due to the modem interface used. So Apple software was able to query the radio information off the Qualcomm modems but not the Intel modems, or at least not until today when the iOS 10.3 beta was released. And those that have installed that on their Intel iPhone 7s have been able to access the solar field test menu. And not just the solar field test menu of before, this new one has a lot more features and a lot more menus and information on it as well. However, this new better field test menu only seems to be working on Intel iPhone 7s at the moment. It doesn't seem to have been ported onto the Qualcomm ones and that could be because the Intel modem reports more sort of accessible data than the Qualcomm one does. I don't really know at this point. Furthermore, on this iOS 10.3 beta, the field test has a menu name which sort of indicates that it might be slightly in a sort of beta stage of development the field test and not a finalized product but again that could be just because this is an iOS beta version and it will be finalized for the proper release of iOS 10.3 so now I'm just going to show a little bit of what the menu looks like the dial code is exactly the same as it was before and you can see this brings up the menu and there are quite a nice variety of options here which enable you to go into quite a lot of detail about the cellular signal. In fact this menu even allows you to readily access information about carry aggregation on the phone which is very nice because the iPhone 7 is triple carrier aggregation and for those on Vodafone in the UK supports triple carry aggregation on band 20, band 1 and band 7 which is a great combination for really high speeds on Vodafone UK's network. So um, thanks for watching and those with an iPhone 7 or 7 Plus with an Intel modem I hope you enjoy your new ability to field test. It is a very useful feature for networks diagnostics.